Good morning. I wanted to share with you today the glycolic mask that I absolutely adore. It is um, by Andalou, and I actually have two products I'm going to try from Andalou Naturals. And I've been using this one, the Andalou Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. It's a brightening mask, and I have been using this for, mm, I think, two to three years. Here, you know, I use it like not that often, probably again once a month. I kind of alternate my masks or my peels or whatever I do. Um, some are more mild, some are more exfoliating and a little bit, you know, stronger, so I don't use those as often. Apply evenly to clean, dry, or damp skin. Leave for 10 to 20 minutes. So this one is the brightening formula, and it says on the back, apply evenly to clean, dry, or damp skin. Leave for 10 to 20 minutes. Rinse with cool water. This one is very light. Now, I have my other ones that I use that are a little stronger, like I showed you the uh, Refresh Acid Peel, the gel peel. And that one I only leave on for, um, I think it was three, three or four minutes. I can't remember. I know it's under five. And I think I started out with one as I had described and then worked my way up to three and then five and then that's it. I max out on that. And this one you leave on for a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to read to you the ingredients off of the website. And it says, it's at a glance, it says clean, cruelty-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, and contains vitamin C. Uh contains hyaluronic acid and it's centered on normal skin. Sulfate free, gluten free, phthalate free, non phenol ethoxylate free, butyl paraben free, formaldehyde donor free, dye free, propyl paraben free, aluminum free, and it does contain hyaluronic acid, non toxic, contains vitamin C, formaldehyde free, paraben free. Now that is of course one of the things that I look for immediately is I don't want to see pegs or um, parabens and there are some I have to admit there are a couple of items that I use that might have a polyethylene glycol in it but it's further down in the ingredient list and it's usually um, just one you know I can bear it if it's got one I try to stay away from it all com completely so the description of what the, what they say about this on the website is Fruit stem cells, vitamin Z, and glycolic AHA blended with manuka honey and organic pumpkin, rich in beta carotene, gently dissolve and sweep away dull, dry surface cells, exfoliating and resurfacing for even tone, smooth texture, and a luminous complexion. As soon as it's been applied, you will feel a tingle on the skin. This is how you know that the AHAs are working to dissolve dry surface cells. So it kind of reminds me of the other day when I was saying, if it hurts me, I have this weird thing where then I know it works. Well, this doesn't hurt at all. So you, they want you to clean your face and then apply this. So I wanted to give the demo of it here. Um, and I went, I went out for a, a nice hike this morning. I took Neo out for a hike. So I have really thick um, titanium and zinc oxide SPF 50 on my face. So I'm going to just give that a good scrub. Again, I'm using my Clinique. This is one of the ones that I had said I use a lot of times when I'm not in the shower. You know, for occasions like this where I have to come back. So I'll rub down with this. Make sure I pull all of that all around to my ears. I do put my sunscreen on my eyes as well. So make sure I get that. Okay, feels pretty, pretty good. My washcloth is pretty wet, so it's removing everything. Okay, that feels pretty good. Whew. Okay, sometimes it feels so good to wash that stuff off. <laughs> All right, I do want to make sure that my skin is very clean and clear. And all of that residue from the heavy sunscreen is off. This, you know, this is kind of funny. When you put this on, it is orange. It does have a slight orange hue to it. Um, it's not bad, but it's, you know, a little oompa loompa-y. So this is how it looks in the jar. 
kind of exactly like the outside. It's, you know, it is orange colored. And you can see the little flecks for the ingredient. And then I just dip a clean finger in. And it does, want, it, it does say to apply it to damp skin, so that's good. My skin is damp and it feels fresh. So here it is on. And then I'm just going to, oh, it's thick. And it feels kind of like a jelly-ish texture. Um, it's very pleasant. It has a pleasant scent. It does smell like, you know, like a cleanser along with the pumpkin. This is one of my favorite masks to do. I just love it. I don't, I don't know why. It's just maybe because it has so many good things in it. I'll read to you the full ingredients in just a moment. I just want to get this fully spread. There we go. Okay, so what time is it? I put this on. All right, now I'm going to time it out. And, I, and there's that little tingle they were talking about. But it's slight. I just smudged all the rest on the back of my hands because I just hate to waste it, anything. Read to you exactly what is in it. Um, okay, so these are the ingredients in the glycolic mask. Pumpkin honey glycolic mask. So I've had it on for about 60 seconds and my whole face feels warm. And just a very slight tinkle that just again is just that waking up of my skin to say hello I'm here I'm on and I'm doing my thing inside of it is pumpkin puree is the first ingredient so pumpkin puree aloe barbadinus leaf juice purified water vegetable glycerin manuka honey hydroxyl propyl starch phosphate tocopherol which is a form of vitamin E fruit stem cells um, bioactive berry complex Helianthus anise sunflower seed oil, uh, tamanu seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, glycolic acid, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is the vitamin C, pyrus malus apple fruit extract, pineapple fruit extract, sugar cane extract, lemon fruit extract, xanthan gum, sodium hyaluronate, so that's another good nutrient in there that helps carry things in, um, lecithin, caprylglycol, um, white tea leaf extract, phenoxyethanol, ethyl hexoglycerin, clove flower extract, nutmeg kernel powder. That's what I can smell. I forgot that that was in there. You can smell, it smells like a, now I can smell my face, but it smells like a, um, a, a pumpkin pie cooking a little bit. Um, it's very, it's really a delicious smell, <laughs> but don't eat it. Uh, nutmeg kernel powder, cinnamon bark powder, and um, most of the ingredients are organic, so or fair trade ingredients. So again, I make sure that I don't put it uh, directly on my eyes up up underneath, where you know again I stay at the bridge, right at that where the del more delicate skin starts, more sensitive skin starts, and and then same thing. I don't I do not put this on my eyelids either. While this is sitting, I will let you know that I, so I went to Marshall's and you know I love this, one of my favorite places to pick up new skincare items if I want to give them a try because they're always at such a great deal and because I do love this peel, uh, well this mask, sorry, um, glycolic acid mask, I decided I found this from them which is their vitamin, it's turmeric and C and lighten serum. This again says fruit stem, fruit stem cell science and brightening. So uh, let me read to you the back and what the ingredients are on here. There's a whole host of them. Um, okay, so we have aloe, barbadinus leaf juice, water, and then the vitamin C. Now they use magnesium ascorbyl phosphate in this, which gives it a much longer shelf life than the L-ascorbic acid. The L-ascorbic acid is, of course, the most potent form of vitamin C, and typically my um, form of choice is to use L-ascorbic acid. But I also like no, that, and that I use as from Timeless. Um, but that also has a shelf life of like two months. I've found it doesn't last very long. I think they say it can last up to three months. Sometimes you can get it a little bit longer uh, if you keep it in the refrigerator and stuff. And to be honest with you, I refrigerate mine periodically. But it's 
it's a pain in the butt to go to my fridge and get my stuff every morning. So I just, a lot of times I forget to put it back in the fridge and I'll have it in the cabinet overnight. So I, mine usually lasts for about two months. So, you know, I'm, I'm generous with it when I use it. Um, so, we're, okay, so I was at, yes, vegetable glycerin, squalene, which is an oil that I love, squalene oil. It's another oil that I, I use on my face. Um, in addition to, you know, I have my DIY um, oils that I have another video out that shows you what I use in that, and that is with jojoba oil, almond oil, frankincense oil, rose hip seed oil, and sometimes I'll put a, a little bit of... Um, coconut oil on over top of that, but coconut oil is non-comedogenic, so if you have skin issues or troubles, it will block your pores. You do not want to use the coconut oil. Fruit stem cells and bioactive berry complex. A lot of these ingredients are also in this glycolic mask, so this is a wonderful duo. They work well together. You're getting a double dose of those delicious ingredients. Um, sunflower seed oil, lecithin, tocopherol, panthenol, glycerol stearate, algin, cacao seed butter, allantoin, turmeric root extract. Now this is something new. I have never tried that in my skincare that I'm aware of. I eat turmeric <laughs> on my avocado toast <laughs> and in my smoothies. I'll take you guys into my kitchen and you know we'll do some cooking together too. Uh, I'll show you a couple of my favorite quick easy things to make. Um, Theobroma, okay, oh I'm sorry. Um, sodium hyaluronate, Barrage seed oil, rosehip fruit oil, glycerol laurate, linum, I'm sorry, I have a hard time reading this. It's so tiny. Flax seed oil, evening primrose oil, flax seed oil, that's another thing. Okay, so I also put flax in my smoothies and stuff, so I eat my flax as well. Ground flax, because whole flax seed do nothing. Your body can't process them. So if you're going to eat flax, grind it or buy it ground. Evening primrose, sea buckthorn, um, sea buckthorn fruit oil, riboflavin, xanthan gum, white tea leaf extract, kelp extract, uh, pentanol alcohol, ethyl hexoglycerin, tangerine peel oil, and orange peel oil. Again, most of these ingredients are organic or fair trade. Another reason why I love this product um, so anyways as I was saying I found this in my Marshalls and it was only nine dollars and if you price this out online it's typically about fourteen dollars so if you can find it in your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls and you want to try it that's the place to try to score it okay so it says to use AM and PM apply on apply lightly on clean face and neck prior to moisturizer I always do my vitamin C serum no matter which kind it is, I do it straight after my face has been cleansed. And then I give it a minute, and then I put my other things on in order of density. It says, fruit stem cell complex, turmeric, vitamin C, and skin-friendly magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Uh, again, the more mild form of vitamin C and more stable. Um, enzymatically support dermal vitality, targeting overexposed surface cells for a lighter, tighter, brighter looking appearance and luminous complexion. Skin's true self is fully realized with a portfolio of nature's most potent bioactives and the innovation that captures it all, fruit stem cell science. I have another 10, minute, 10 minutes more to go. It's only been 10 minutes for me, actually nine minutes. Um, so I'm gonna go off camera for a few minutes and then I will come back and we will wash this off and I will try out the turmeric vitamin C serum because I have not ever tried this yet. Okay, I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, I've got my face all rinsed off again. I wish I could have shown you the washcloth. It, it, when you rinse it off, it comes off with a yellow tint so you'll see a, a bit of color on your, if you have a white cloth, which I did. But I didn't think it would show up on the camera so I, you know, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I should probably show them. And then I thought, you know, you may not, with the lighting in here, it's still really, you know, I can't quite figure it yet. So I don't think you would be, have been able to see it. So I just rinsed the sludge away. Um, but my face feels great. Uh, it does feel, you know, um, it has um, not a tight feeling, but it feels cleansed. And it feels as though it had a little bit of a treatment done to it. So what I want to do now 
is um, moisturized, of course, and I'm going to start it with the vitamin C, the turmeric and C enlightening enlighten serum. And then I brought out my uh, my squalene from Timeless, which is just pure squalene oil, and I'm going to put that on top. I thought it would be a nice complement of trifecta because the uh, pumpkin mask had squalene in it as well as the vitamin C serum and so I thought I would just touch up with a little bit of this afterwards and then this evening uh, when I do my nighttime routine I will use my I can use my DIY oils or because it's a Sunday I don't mind putting this on I'm home so I'm not I don't mind having my face be a little bit slicker <laughs> um, you know before I'm not, I'm not running out the door to see anybody where I need to worry about it. The other thing that I find with putting on oils on my face for the daytime that causes issues is glasses. Um, somehow it always gets on my glasses and then I'm smudging and breathing on my glasses and smearing them off and it just makes a big mess. So that's why, one of the better reasons why I save my oils for nighttime if I can. That way they don't, I can put them up closer to my eyes and they don't get in my eyes and they don't get on my glasses. So, but if I have an opportunity to use a little during the morning or on a weekday or whatever, then I do. I, I, I like to use my oils a lot. Okay, so I haven't seen this product yet. I have not even opened it. Um, oh, okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. So they match. They're both orange. Um, I like attractive containers. So this is a pump. That's nice. I like that. And it, this is, it's glass. I thought at first it was plastic, but I think it's glass. So, okay, let's give this a little squirt here. It's slightly orange in color. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's dripping fast, but it is slightly orange. Um, it's kind of thick. Feels nice. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh, it smells like oranges it smells heavenly the um, serum that I use from timeless does not have a pleasant smell I love the ingredients and I love the effects so this smells really good oh my goodness so we go from one tasty face application to another <laughs> all right so I'm putting this across up here again I'm not going up onto my nose my nasal um, my nostrils I'm brushing all the way up here, up on top of there. This feels really nice and smooth. I can't get past the smell. It smells so good. So I'm going to carry this down a little further onto my neck. And if I had just gotten out of the shower and had no other, I washed my neck with my face. If I had nothing else, no other moisturizers on my neck, uh, on my decollete, I would also put that across my decollete and with whatever's between my fingers, I am going to let my hands bathe in that. That feels really good. Just a little tiny bit more, because I can't tell if I got up as close. Yeah, I did. Okay, once I start to put it on, then I, I have like, I do put a little bit of this on my eyelids, not all going all the way down, but a little bit just under my brow bone. Okay, I felt like I might have missed a spot or two, but maybe because I'm so delirious from the lovely smell, scent from the lovely scent. And with using both of these, there was no irritation. Um, there was no irritation. There was no, you know, like they said, there's that initial tiny bit of tingle that you feel. It does not hurt, um, does not burn and then it goes away and for the next 20 minutes it just felt really good it just felt clean and nourished and moisturized and when once i rinsed it off my skin again is very very dry so that's why i feel that little bit of tightness afterward just after using this it feels amazing so this says um to use in the morning and at night and i i would I think when I use my other, I think I might start using this at night. I'm going to include this in my nighttime. Yep. I just got a new ingredient for my nighttime routine. I'm going to give that just another moment more. Everything feels wonderful in this. I can't get past the smell. It's so good. A couple of drops of the squalene. Four, I think that was about four drops. If I need more, I will come back and grab some more. 
Let me just do this in my hands and pat it. And then pat it up. I put another three drops on and I try to do the upper portion of my face. If I don't feel like I've covered it well, I'll go back and get one to two drops more. But with the oils, they, you know, they, they just need to be pressed around. You don't necessarily always have to keep adding more and more. A lot of people, maybe they get turned away from using oils because they're using too much and it's not soaking in and they're dealing with, you know, a heavier shine and slickness on their face. It's not, you, you really just want to put just enough on to moisturize your skin. I've, got, I've been dealing with this rough patch right here. I don't know what it is, but it's been dry and a little bit bumpy and it exfoliates really well though. Okay, so all, all set, all done with the squalene oil on top and it's absorbing nicely. I can already see that the shine has gone down and it just has a really pretty glow, which is a clean skin. That routine was the best. That really was the best. I'm in love with these two together. I really am. Between the aroma and the feeling that it gives your skin and the ingredients, these two are a dynamic duo. The squalene oil to complement the Andalou is kind of like this is the cherry on top of the Andalou sundae. Well, my face is feeling so good right now. So good right now. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this beautiful sunny Sunday. Um, I do feel good. I had my nice long hike with my puppy and now my face feels amazing. If I go back outside in the sun, I will be putting more um, of my sunblock on over top of this. So it doesn't mean that it takes away from it. It's just I'll wait a while. I won't go straight out. If you are going, if you need to, if you do this and you need to go straight out, then put your sunblock on. It's not going to hurt anything. I just... I just like to kind of let it be for a little while and let everything do its thing before I go and glob it up with something else. So, okay, thanks for watching and sharing with me. Let me know if you give these things a try, and I will see you soon.